sketches. How are you doing? I obviously hope these are all okay. And this lockdown and self-isolation thing isn't too difficult and I just hope these are all healthy and I miss everybody and we would have been round about now, we were, we were going to start some sketch clubs back down in Bootle Library. So this is who's commissioned this little video. The lovely people at a human library down in Bootle and Sexton Council. I decided to carry on sketch club, an online version. And what I've been doing is I've given up my Instagram page to people who want to sketch. So we just wanted to open that up to you because I know I haven't seen you for a while in Bootle. So we just thought it might be nice to just basically say hello and chat in and have a little chat. Hi! <laughs> but also to encourage you to carry on sketching and send them to me. And this video is going to go up on Bootle Library's website. And we're going to figure it out as we go along, to be honest, about how we get information across. And I'm going to do a hard copy as well. So there'll be a leaflet that goes with this that we'll either send out or you can download or I am I'm completely aware that not everyone can get access to computers and I'm hoping that most people have now got the smartphones but whatever way around it's better to do something than nothing isn't it so trial and error as Sketch Club always is as we know so what I thought from the last couple of weeks that I've been doing the Sketch Club online as I say which has just been simply asking people to get like to keep in touch and people have been sending me their sketches that they've been doing from home either by whatsapp or email or on social media so it's just jane lawless on twitter and instagram and if you can get it to me that way great and if not bear in mind this will end at some point so at some stage i will see your sketches i promise whether it's in the flesh or whether it's, whether it's virtually and what we were thinking is that it might be nice to select some and turn them into postcards it's kind of like a nice idea to think that all these sketches were made during lockdown and then we can kind of set them free and they can go wherever they want so first things first the most kind of common questions that i've been getting over the last couple of weeks via instagram is about not knowing what to draw because obviously normally i'll set the challenges what to draw and then depending on when or how this happens and you might be self-isolating and you might not have art materials it's more like well what do we what do we use to draw with so i thought well rather than not do anything i literally spend a lot of time just drawing on other things anyway because i find it interesting and you kind of enter into that like realm of fine art there when you're wondering if the artist is trying to tell me something by drawing on for example a hoover bag now oh. oh, i've had this hoover bag for months and i keep thinking i'm going to do something with this but i haven't done anything yet and then there's my favorite i've been using leftover wallpaper for years in my own practice see just the back of some wallpaper a lot of it was to do with the fact that my mum was a painter and decorator and we always had if we didn't have sketchbooks or drawing paper if you like there was always wallpaper there's always something in your house that you can draw on just like the back of an envelope i love this it's just brown packaging paper it's something that i like using because it obviously has a lot of different connotations to it but it's seen as ultimately the like least most sought after paper but it's the most hard working and robust it's the utilitarian qualities i like in it but it's brilliant because it's that tough and you can paint on it and it's quite absorbent as well so again this just came in a parcel and then again if because i know we all have our sketch boards and our pencils and whatever but as i say again don't just not do stuff because you have you think oh i haven't got the right kit so this is just a bit of cardboard again it was just something that came in the post and i kept it but it, yeah it's good sketch boards and you can obviously use a tray or lean on a book or you know you can figure this out then i thought well you might not have pens and pe paper and stuff like that so i'm literally using a biro every house has a biro i've literally gone to my cupboards in the kitchen and the fridge and got some bits out and we'll just do a couple of quick warm-ups and then i'll leave i'm gonna leave you to it but now i'm gonna get all fidgety 
<laughs> and move around. Hang on. I think you can just about see now what I got from the kitchen. An apple, some wheat bix orange juice, tomato soup. And what this is basically is an everyday still life. It's something that everybody can do. Everyone's got objects around the house. And all I want you to think about is these are shapes. So don't worry about like the details on the tin, the details on the orange juice packet. Arrange them in a way that they kind of overlap each other because it's a good test on how you draw them. And then what I want you to do is remember our warm ups. We do the two minutes or one minute sketches using our non-dominant hand. So we'll time it. If there's any new people who haven't done Sketch Club before, this is just to prove to you anyone can do this. You're going to see for yourself. So what I want you to do is I'm just going to get this timer on. So say I've, I'm normally right handed. So I'm going to switch left. So your non-dominant hand. And what this does as an initial warm up, it gets you over that kind of like first fear of, oh my God, you're sitting there in front of this and there's like this empty bit of paper and I don't know where to start and stuff like that. So it's a brilliant way to just go bang, let's just get something on the paper. So I'm trying to get as much of this in as I can with my, sorry, <laughs> left hand. So if I get this up, press play, I'm going to put the apple in to the tin. As you can see, this is absolutely gorgeous. And then the Weetabix is coming in behind it like that. Just look where the lines begin and end, and then the orange juice actually comes at the end like this. So just follow the lines and break everything down. And there we go. There's our one minute. So, you see that? That's just to prove to you how loose a sketch can be. So I'm going to leave it with you. I'm not going to do a few more of these if you like it. And if you want to see my big fat face. <laughs> so listen, I really just wanted to say hello and see how you're all doing. And I miss you. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. But keep sketching, keep smiling. Ta!